Hey Bunnies, welcome to another video. For today's video, I want to talk about how to properly wash a fat cat, okay? <laughs> there are many videos out here. I have done a couple videos talking about vaginal washes in particular, right? But for this video, I want to talk about how to actually, really and truly wash it. Okay, because there are lots of clips out there where they show you and tell you what to do and what not to do. But a lot of those are, I believe, for girls who don't have fat labias, who don't have that that meat <laughs> on the outside. It's beer maga pum pum girl they talk about. So I'm here to talk to the fat cat girls. I wish I had, I really wanted to order one, one of the, the, the actual molds of a vagina but it, that was gonna take too long and I really wanted to do this video because I've been seeing these videos pop up on Instagram a lot lately I can feel I can see something on my eyelash okay they've been popping up on my Instagram a lot lately right so I just what I'm going to do is pull up a diagram of a vagina and I'm going to tell you how I wash mine basically okay now first things first let's talk about the anatomy and I want I want a black girl oh here we go illustration by Jennifer Peretta all right cool all right Jennifer Peretta so here the vulva ooh all right so you have the mons pubis which is the top part right you have that that labia minora urethral orifices the hymen labia majora the anus those are the spots we're going to be concentrating on right the mons pubis the clitoris let's say that glans clitoris the labia minora and the labia majora and the anus those are the places that we have to wash the vagina itself that's the inside part you do not need to wash that part and when I say the inside part I mean the part where you put a tampon where a toy goes where a penis goes where any sort of penetration goes you don't any if, if you can put your fingers like an inch or so into it you do not need to wash them because that part is self cleaning that's the only part that is self-cleaning water alone is not going to clean down there okay let us let us say that together water alone is not going to clean down there when people say you don't need to wash your vagina with soap they're thinking of I don't even know if they're thinking of that the vagina is just the the, the, the in the canal the inside the canal that's that's the word I'm looking for you don't need to wash inside that part and that's why they say don't douche because you don't need to put anything up in there when you're douching you're pushing up that bacteria that is coming out you're pushing it back up in and you do not want to do that okay when washing your fat cat I like to use a loofah or uh, the glove the glove the exfoliating gloves right right you can use what I use is my dove sensitive skin and I wash my entire body with that my mons pubis that's the top part right there that you see the first thing you look down bam that's what it is that part I exfoliate with my um, loofah or my glove right especially if you wax or shave or nail or whatever the case is you want to make sure you exfoliate to avoid any ingrown hairs or hair bumps and that's the only place it is okay to put regular bathing soap okay i literally had to have this conversation with somebody the other day too because she wanted to put soap inside girl it was a whole thing for the smaller pum pum girls they always tell you don't put no soap down there so don't put nothing da -da 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 -da. but if you have a fat cat you can't not get soap there it's it, it you you have to exfoliate it and it's the mons pubis it's there it's there okay okay labia majora and minora or is it minora i think it's minora because it ends with an a minora minora Whose alarm is that? 
anyways you labia them right that part you're going to now take either your all natural feminine wash right like summer's eve is not all natural i can't think of anybody else that's not all natural but some any summer's eve you wash that you see in your girl bathroom throw it away if you have summer's eve throw it away get something that's 100 percent natural i've done videos on cookie wash that's 100 percent natural i've done videos on fresh box 100 percent natural there is this one brand that everybody loves i think it's called honey pot not 100% sure if they're 100% natural because they did sell to somebody else and added some type of ingredient. Don't quote me on it, but there was some uproar about Honey Pot. Do your own research on that. If I'm unable to get Cookie Wash or Fresh Box, because those are the two that are local in my area, what I like to use is African Black Soap. African Black Soap also helps prevent hair bumps, ingrown hairs, all that right the african black soap that i use is called doo awesome i also use this to wash my face right it's a very gentle well gentle for me because i've had conversations where girls are like yo i can't use black soap because it burned my skin if that is you do not use it okay my african black soap it has um let me google it here we go so ingredients the very first one is pure honey Pure honey, shea butter, cam wood, palm kernel oil, cocoa pod ash, palm bunch ash, aloe vera, lime juice, lemon juice, water, and fragrance. Fragrance is the very last ingredient. Okay, so you know they use that's what they use the least amount of. Um, if you are allergic to aloe, do not use it. Lime and lemon juice, those are both acidic, so that is what's going to help to kind of even things out down there as well okay now the reason why i'm doing this again for the fat cat girls is that our meat our lips our labia majora is very much majora okay so you do have to pull your lips back and go in between because again you have urine residue you have um period blood you have sweat you have all of that in between your lips do not push your fingers up into your vagina just go in between the lips right with a little bit of the soap or the, the cookie wash or the fresh box or whatever you have and go in between your lips those fat fat juicy lips okay okay you have to clean right there now i don't know how they do baby girls here in the u.s but in jamaica when they give them a bath they always set a rag and go in between the lips and wipe out there so because why you can get rashes you can sweat babies do sweat right so if you're doing that to the baby why you wouldn't do that to yourself you feel me you need to get in between the lips make sure that you're washing it properly Water alone is not going to help. Matter of fact, there's a lot of, lots of, lots of, lots of companies out right now selling vagina washes. So again, do your own research, see what works for you and your vagina. For me, this is what works. Now, if you're a young girl out there who, for whatever reason, does not have a mother figure in your life to tell you these things, you're welcome. All right? All right. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. If you feel like I should have mentioned something that I did not mention, leave it in the comment section below. Last week, I mentioned I was going to talk about something about fishy smells. Washing vagina properly is one, but also making sure that you're drinking enough water, making sure that you're drinking your cranberry juice, making sure you're taking your probiotics, making sure that if you're going to do the boric acid suppositories and that's where you insert the little capsule inside of your vagina, don't do it every day, don't do it every week. The boric acid is supposed to help to balance out any imbalances in your system right so let's say you had intercourse and the guy threw off your pH because his penis was extremely large or because maybe you never washed it properly you had unprotected sex maybe the condom irritates something maybe you just finished your period and you want to you know that's the only time I'd recommend popping in a boric acid suppository and honestly for me I hardly 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 
use it unless again I feel like you know what something's not right something's wonky down there and I'll pop one in there and if I feel like it's something that I cannot correct then I'll call my doctor and be like all right we need to make an appointment and see what's happening all right but yeah as far as the fishy smell goes and then it, nobody should be smelling you truly I feel like me personally I feel like you can smell yourself before anybody else smells you like I know when I'm off okay I know when it's sweat smell from period smell from sex smell from just just pH is off smell all right especially for someone like me who doesn't douche someone like me who you know make sure that certain things are done or not done to avoid certain things all right and that also includes how tight your panties are if your panty is too tight like there's not enough breeze a pass through not enough circulation happening down there if at night time you, you ugh, girl yeah and it's okay to go commando sometimes I would say go commando when you're sleeping that's the best time because you're relaxed blood can flow you know whatever whatever than so in the daytime you're not sweating as much in the nighttime in the daytime you are sweating a little bit more you are discharging a little bit more you are more active in the daytime so I highly recommend wearing panties during the daytime I recommend wearing panty liners during the daytime especially when you know you're about to get your period when your period is finished when you, you know you're on your, like the, the day after the last day and like the drip drops that happen I recommend wearing it while you're ovulating so that's basically three weeks out of the month <laughs> right and then again go with the all-natural organic ones because for whatever reason I've found that the ones that are not organic it 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 makes the discharge more and it makes it have this weird smell whereas the natural organic ones there's no smell at all go figure i guess it's a marketing ploy for you to buy more stuff more fancy liners anyways i think i've said enough <laughs> But again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Find me on Instagram and DM me. I'm at KissyFace, K-I-S-S-Y-F-V-C-E. DM me. I respond to all DMs once they're not unsolicited dick pics. Thank you very much. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye.